Hi, I'm Sam Wilson, here with TechLine Knives, and today I'm going to talk to you about some of our mini survival kits that you can get optional with our knives. So, I'm going to bring it a little closer, and we'll get right to it. All right, we're going to get started here. This is a pack light. This is a custom shop model in full Wilson Gray gun coat, a custom color available only through us. And we're going to jump right into this. So we have two kits uh, right now. We have kit A and kit B. Kit A is designed for the inside of the hollow handle. So we'll go ahead and just take the cap off here. You can see we have our compass there. We'll get back to that briefly. This one, as you can see, fills up most of the handle. All you got to do is tap that a little bit and you grab the plastic tail here. And we pull open the bag or pull it out. And this is a heat sealed bag that we have that contains four tender quicks. And in fact, let's just go ahead and tear it off. The end is heat sealed as well. So you can fold this over. You can tie a little knot, whatever it is you want to use to extricate it from the handle. Uh, you can even tie a little string around there to make it easier still. This is not really a highly durable, super thick plastic. This is just designed to keep everything organized so you can pull it out of the handle easily and stuff's not rattling around. You could take them out of there and rearrange it however you'd like, but by having it in heat sealed compartments, it does add a layer of water resistance and so forth. So we open that up, boom, we have our little stream light, nano light. These are excellent little flashlights. I have used these for years and always been very, very pleased with them. So that's there. Then we open this up, tear that apart, and we have four tender quick tabs. Now, if it were me and I were using these in an emergency situation, I would probably cut these in half because it doesn't take much to get a fire out of these. Cut them in half, you rough up one end with your knife blade, and then either strike that with a match or a ferrule rod, and you got yourself a fire going real good. Okay. That covers kit A. Now we have kit B. Let's move this guy out of the way. This is a uh, an unfinished pack light that we have used for shop purposes for measuring and so forth. But we have, if you go through the custom shop, you can get OD green Kydex, or you can get black Kydex. Now, neither of these have the belt loop, the optional leather belt loop attached on here. But this is just for demonstration purposes, and both of these have the optional pouch with tin in there. So we have a, a hybrid Kydex leather pouch. You pop open the snap here, and you pull this little guy out. Set this aside over here. You can see this is a very small tin, but this is designed to be compact, plus it has to fit the overall appearance and size of the small pack light. So, it's a perfect fit, but we get a lot out of this. So we go ahead and we take this, pop this open, and what we have is a heat-sealed foil pouch. Okay, now there's a little bit of room a little bit of room on the side here. You can add uh, needles or an awl or something else, whatever it is you may like, uh, to personalize your kit. But this makes sure you've got a waterproof container that is in, you know, the uh, pouch is waterproof anyway, and that's going to keep your stuff safe and dry. So we go ahead and pull this out, move the tin aside, and you can see this is a very small pouch. However, we open this up. You can see it's got a tab to tear it open. We just pop that off, if I can do it here, there we go. Toss that aside, and then we squeeze the contents out. Okay, now we did all we could to maximize the space inside this little pouch. What do we got? Well, first off, we've got 20 feet of 50 pound test Kevlar line, okay? Very handy for cordage purposes, obviously. We have three of these little glow sticks. Here in just a minute when I'm finished, I'll turn the lights off and pop one of these. And you can see these are amazing. They run for several hours. I think it's like 12 to 16 hours is what they stay, something like that. But when they're fresh, you can easily read a book by them in the dark. And uh, as they continue to degrade, like all light sticks do, they get a little duller. But anyways, we got three of those light sticks for whatever purpose you want. We have a small ferrule rod that you can use for lighting your tinder quicks or whatever else you want to do with it. And then we have a sterile sealed stainless steel scalpel blade. Now, I don't know that I'd recommend this for medical purposes. It's going to be floating around inside of a survival kit. 
However, if you have to get a splinter out or this is good for cutting the cord, if you had cord on your handle to use that, then you're going to have another uh, 15 to 20 feet of 125 pound test line that typically comes on the pack light. So that's what all goes in there and that easily fits inside here. You don't need the waterproof pouch. All this stuff will go back in here, no problem. It wasn't uh, vacuum sealed, so everything will fit nice and easy. And then you can go ahead and close that up. The advantage of having it in the waterproof heat seal pouch is so number one, to preserve it. Two, if you want to take it out and use the tin for other purposes, uh, you now have that option. So to give you an idea, whenever you've got the pack light, let's say this was a cord wrap version. All right, if you get the pack light, the sheath with the pouch and both kits, what you're going to have here is you would have a fixed blade knife, obviously, with a guard for safety purposes. Uh, these are ground to slice. You're going to have 15 to 20, 22 feet. It kind of varies depending on how tight we pull it and whenever we wrap them of 125 pound test or 100 pound test cordage on there. We take the cap off and you're going to have rudimentary navigation uh, via a button compass. In kit A, you're going to have four tender quick tabs and a mini flashlight that's kept in the waterproof uh, compartment inside the handle here. Then, if you have kit B as well, you have a little tin that you can use for whatever purposes you'd like, a scalpel blade, a ferrocerium rod, three light sticks, and 20 feet of Kevlar cord, 50 pound test Kevlar cord. That is not bad. Uh, in fact, I think that's pretty impressive in a very, very small package. The knife itself weighs just a tad over three ounces. And with all this here, you're not looking at a whole lot more. So, real quickly, I'm going to go ahead and we'll charge up the compass and show you what that looks like. And we'll kill the lights and you can kind of see what we got going on. All right, let's do this one. All right, that'll work. Now let me kill the lights. You're not going to be able to see much, but you can easily... I don't know if that will focus or not, easily navigate by that compass at night. Now, if we take one of these little light sticks, you snap it and shake it up, and I mean, that is an impressive amount of light out of that tiny little light stick, and there are three in that kit. That is what the two kits contain. Kit A is the one that goes inside the handle with the tender quicks and the flashlight. Kit B is the one that goes inside the tin and contains the scalpel blade, the Kevlar line, the light sticks, and the ferrule rod.